For some, summer is for getting out and about, being active, moving your body etc. We like that stuff too, but it's also a prime opportunity to catch up on all the TV shows you've been meaning to watch for ages. Because everyone knows the safest thing to do when it's over 30 degrees is to sit in front of your laptop with a cold flannel. There's only one problem here though. Binge watching a season, nay, seasons of a show takes a fairly large time commitment many of us busy people don't have. Wouldn't it be great to know exactly how much time it will take? Yes, it would indeed that's why this TV show watching time calculator is so darn handy. Ed and T have released their report on TV consumption in 2017, including how many 8-hour workdays you'll need to binge over 50 of the most popular shows going around. Listen, here are Mamma Mia Out Loud's recommendations for the very best shows to catch up on this summer, post continues after audio. For example, if you're one of those sad, sad souls who haven't watched Game of Thrones yet, you'll need 9.1 workdays to smash out all 7 seasons or around 72 hours if you were to do it straight. On the other end of the spectrum, you'll only need to take one day of annual leave to get through Big Little Lies. Here are our picks for the TV shows on the list worth taking time off for. Judging by the above, if you haven't started watching Grey's Anatomy yet maybe just don't okay. For the full list of TV shows and their time commitments, check out the complete at and tier list.